Hi friends! Today I want to talk to you about the Tis the Season-a-thon and my TBR. Tis the Season-a-thon is a readathon that's being hosted over on Instagram so if you want more information about that I will link the Instagram account down below. It is essentially five prompts for five reading prompts plus there's a nine square bingo board and you can either do the reading prompts or you can do the bingo board or you can do a combination of the two or you can do all of them whatever you want to do it runs from december 5th through the 11th and today is the fourth so you still have plenty of time to look it up pick out your books and join us today we're going to talk about a little bit about the books that i'm choosing which may or may not stay um what the prompts are things like that so the first actual prompt is to read a book set in December and for that I will be reading Christmas as we know it which is by Sarah Sutton who is a fellow author tuber and I will link her channel down below. Uh, I started reading this last Christmas and then for a readathon and then the readathon ended and I started into another readathon and I was like crap I have to read a different book and then I never picked it up again because by that time it was the end of Christmas season and I was like I'll wait till next Christmas. So I own the physical book. I own the audiobook. I will read it at some point this year but I want to read it this week to fill my prompts. Uh, then have to read a book under 250 pages. Uh, for this I chose to read a Charlie Brown Christmas because one of the bingo prompts is to read a Charlie Brown Christmas which is under 250 pages so doubling up on that one. Uh, the third prompt is to read something with snow on the cover. I have three Sarah Morgan books on my TBR, uh, meaning three books by the author Sarah Morgan. I have one more for Christmas, A Wedding in December, and The Christmas Escape. So I will be reading one of those three, but I don't know which. They all three have, have snow in the cover. I think I've read one or two of Sarah Morgan's Christmas books before. They're much more of like a slow-paced, romancy family vibe, um, which I'm not into year-round, but definitely into at Christmas time. So, um... I will pick up one of those, whichever one I'm feeling at the time. The fourth prompt is something you received as a gift. And this is where we get a little shifty. So I have no clue what books I've received as gifts, mostly because a lot of times people don't actually buy me a book. They buy me like a gift card to a, a bookstore and then I buy books with it and I don't really remember what I bought. With it. So what I chose to do was to read an ARC because in my opinion, an ARC that has been sent to me is a gift. So I will be reading A Very Merry Bromance by Lissa K. Adams. It's the fifth book in the uh, Bromance Book Club series. So I've been reading them forever. It's a Christmas one. It's Colton's book. I'm excited. And the fifth prompt is just to read while baking a holiday treat. What I think I will probably be reading for this and for some of the ones that are on the bingo board is probably um, Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. Um, I read that book several years ago and it's been like a Christmas staple for me. I don't know if I'll reread book two and book three. Book three was not my favorite. Book two was good, but book one is definitely my favorite of the books um, and I really enjoyed. So I will probably read Dash and Lily's Book of Dares sometime during the week. If not during the week, then I'll read it during a different readathon or during the month of, but that would be a good one to do like while I'm baking because I don't really have to pay attention to it because I've already read it multiple times. Uh, the bingo prompts are a diverse book, a romance book, a book with a holiday word in the title, uh, the 25th book on your TBR, which I did not pull, but is um, Not Now, Not Ever by Lily. I'll get there. Anderson, Lily Anderson, Not Now, Not Ever by Lily Anderson is my 25th book on my TBR. Technically the 25th book on my physical shelf is the middle of a series. There's 15 books in that series. And I think it was like on book eight. Okay. So I just went with like the next book. <laughs> I felt like that was the fairest way to do that. Uh, Cause I'm already in the middle of that series and I don't really like to read them one at a time because they're pretty short. I usually like to read them three or four at a time. So I just decided to go to the next thing. Okay. Um, and then Charlie Brown Christmas. Watch a favorite holiday movie is on the bingo board. Also make a book Christmas tree and make Christmas cookies. So I will be doing just kind of a combination. Um, so a diverse Christmas book, I guess Dash and Lily would technically count for that because 
Lily's family is outside of my norm, so that would be considered diverse. A romance book, probably any of Sarah Morgan's can be romance books. Uh, a book with a holiday word in the title, Christmas as we know it, would count for that. And then Charlie Brown Christmas will count for Charlie Brown Christmas. So I should have all of those covered as well. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try to do a combination of the bingo prompts and the five prompts. It's only a week. We're going to see what happens. Uh, if you are doing the Tis the season -a -thon, let me know in the comments down below. If you've read any of these books, if you have any thoughts, comments, or concerns on them, please let me know that as well. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple times a week. Uh, this month we're doing Advent. You're on day four and I will be posting every day from now until the 24th. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.